Today we're going to discuss periodontium. Periodontium is defined as those tissues that support the tooth in the jaw. These are cementum, periodontal ligament, alveolar bone, and the gingiva. They are the supporting and investing tissues. They hold the tooth in its position fixed to the socket. I'm going to divide periodontium into four lectures. Today's lecture is regarding cementum. Now, unlike bone, cementum is avascular. Cementum is basically a hard avascular connective tissue that covers the anatomical roots of human teeth. It begins at the cervical portion and extends to the apex. It acts as a medium for the attachment of collagen fibers that bind the tooth to the surrounding structures like the alveolar bone. Now we come to the role of cementum. Cementum basically covers and protects the root dentine. It covers the opening of the dentinal tubules. It provides attachment to the periodontal fibers. It is involved in tooth repair and it helps to maintain teeth in their functional position. Now we come to the physical properties. Cementum is pale yellow in color. It is softer than dentine. If we talk about its permeability, it is more permeable than dentine. Its permeability varies with age and type. It decreases with age and cellular cementum is more permeable than acellular cementum. It is readily removed by abrasion after gingival recession. Cementum is composed of 45-50% to inorganic substances and 50-55% to organic material plus water. It has the highest fluoride content of all the mineralized tissues. Its organic portion consists primarily of type 1 collagen and proteoglycans. Now we come to the classification of cementum. Cementum is classified on the basis of presence or absence of cells or on the basis of nature and origin of organic matrix. When it comes to presence or absence of cells, cementum is either acellular, that is primary cementum, or cellular, that is secondary cementum. On the basis of nature and origin of organic matrix, cementum is either extrinsic fiber cementum, intrinsic fiber cementum, or mixed fiber cementum. Two types of combinations exist, that is acellular extrinsic fiber cementum and cellular intrinsic fiber cementum. Acellular cementum presents the most common pattern. It lies adjacent to dentine. It is also called the primary cementum. It is structureless and it covers the root adjacent to dentine, while the cellular cementum is found in the apical area. In this, cementocytes are absent. As the name indicates, cellular cementum contains cells. These cells are called cementocytes. Cellular cementum is found in the apical area where it overlies a cellular cementum. The spaces that the cementocytes occupy are called lacuna, and the channels that their processes extend along are the canaliculi. The adjacent canaliculi are often connected, and the processes within them exhibit gap junctions. Cellular cementum has the most common pattern in the apical area and in the interradicular areas. Now we come to the differences between acellular and cellular cementum. Acellular cementum is first formed while cellular cementum is secondarily formed. Acellular cementum is present in the cervical third of the root while cellular cementum is present in the apical third of the root. Acellular cementum does not contain cells while cellular cementum contains cementocytes. Acellular cementum is more calcified while cellular cementum is less calcified. In acellular cementum, sharpe fibers are the main components while in cellular cementum, sharpe fibers occupy a smaller proportion. Acellular cementum are involved in anchorage of the tooth, while cellular cementum is involved in the repair and adaptation of the tooth. Acellular cementum is formed before the tooth reaches the occlusal plane, while cellular cementum is formed after the tooth reaches the occlusal plane. Now we come to extrinsic and intrinsic fiber cementum. The organic matrix of cementum is derived from two sources, either by the periodontal ligaments or by the cementoblasts. Extrinsic fiber cementum is that which is derived from the periodontal ligament and intrinsic fiber cementum is that which is derived from cementoblasts. Intrinsic fiber cementum runs parallel to the root surface and it occurs at right angles to the extrinsic fibers. The third type is mixed fiber cementum. This occurs when both extrinsic and intrinsic fibers are present. Two types of combinations exist. Cellular intrinsic fiber cementum and acellular extrinsic fiber cementum. In cellular intrinsic fiber cementum, the fibers are deposited by cementoblasts. They run parallel to the root surface and they play no role in tooth attachment. They are present in the apical third and the interradicular areas. In acellular extrinsic fiber cementum, the fibers cover the cervical half. They form the bulk of the cementum in premolars. As they are acellular, they are first formed. Their thickness is approximately 15 micrometers. They are well mineralized and all the collagen of the fibers comes from Sharpe's fibers. Now we come to the structures of cementum. Cementum is composed of four structures, cemento-enamel junction, incremental lines of salter, 
cemento dentinal junction and sharp base fibers cemento enamel junction consists of three patterns in the first pattern cementum overlaps the enamel this is the most predominant one and occurs in 60% of the sections in the second pattern enamel meets the cementum at bud joint this occurs in 30% of sections in the third pattern enamel fails to meet the cementum as a result of which dentin between them is exposed this occurs in 10% of sections so as you can see in these diagrams this is the enamel this is the dentin and this is the cementum this is the cemento enamel junction in the first diagram there's an overlap between the cementum and enamel this accounts for 60% of the sections in the second diagram the enamel and cementum meet at a bud joint this accounts for 30% of the sections in the third diagram there's a gap between the cementum and enamel this causes the dentin to be exposed this increases the sensitivity of dentin now we come to the incremental lines of salter these lines represent the rest periods in cementum formation they run parallel to the root surface and they are basically hyper mineralized areas which have less collagen fibers but more ground substance in acellular cementum the distance between the lines is less and in cellular cementum the distance between the lines is more now we come to the cemento dentinal junction when cementum is deposited upon the surface of dentin the junction between these two layers is called cemento dentinal junction it is smooth in permanent teeth and scalloped in deciduous teeth so as you can see this is the dentin this is the cementum and this is the cemento dentinal junction it is smooth in permanent teeth and scalloped in deciduous teeth the convexities lie towards the layer of dentin sharpest fibers are the principal fibers which are embedded into cementum and bone they are more numerous but smaller at the cemental end and they form the main component of acellular cementum 